Today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition is all about the House of Representatives of the United States. Visit PragerUKids.com to download this sweet worksheet and play along. This is Street Smarts, a game show on the streets where contestants are rewarded for their knowledge. Street Smarts! Oh, oh, I, I love, love that energy. energy! That was Contest! amazing! Welcome back to another episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... You to the ends of the CLE. That's right, you know it's me. It's Uncle Sam. And we are here in the streets of L.A. asking kids questions about the House of Representatives. So, let's go ask some questions. Represent Street Smart! Here are the rules. There are a total of eight questions. Each correct answer is worth $5. But the final question is worth $20. If someone is stuck on a question, they can pay Uncle Sam $2 for a clue, or they can pay him $5 to ask for help from a friend or a parent. Now, once someone answers incorrectly, that is it. They are eliminated. However, the good news is they get to keep all the cash that they earned up to that point. Here we have Maya. Maya! Olo. Amelie. Lele. Lorelai. Question one. Members of the House of Representatives serve in which branch of government? A, the judicial branch, B, the legislative branch, or C, the tree branch? B, the legislative branch. Bingo! Bingo! That is correct! Five dollars richer right out the gate! Can I get a clue, please? Of course you can! This branch consists of the United States Congress, formed by the House of Representatives, and the Senate. B? What's B? Uh, legislative. You would. Come B, correct! Nice job! <laughs> Thank you. B, legislative branch. B, the legislative branch. B, the legislative branch. She's like, Man, uh, and a me. one, and a five dollars, <laughs> Richard. Coming out the gate hot, Amelie. Question two. What is one of the main powers of a member of the House of Representatives? A, guarding the Capitol building, B, nominating presidential candidates, or C, proposing and voting for laws? Can I get a clue, please? Of course you can. This is also known as lawmaking. Proposing and voting for laws. Uh, Correct, see Amanda. what you did there. Nice. C, proposing and voting for laws. Wow, she's reason through these answers. C, voting for laws. C, proposing and voting for laws. Wow, I am amazed because that is correct. Bing, 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 bing. No multiple choice. None. No clues. Zip, zero, No help. Zip. Because this is a true or false question. All right, true or false. Today, the House of Representatives has 435 elected members who are distributed among the 50 states in proportion to their total population. True. True. As She's true it. as you are, $5 richer. Kay. Well done, what, Olo. Was question three even hard? No. She, she just knows. True. Is that correct, Uncle Sam? Abe Lincoln says it is. $5 richer. False. Unfortunately, the Not answer is correct. actually true. Yes. But hey, you made it all the way to question three. Three. You go home with ten dollars. Woo! Woo! Love it. Love it. All right. Question number four. How many years does a House member's term last? Um. Can I ask for help? Of course. Two. You yes! get a five for the nice! two! Uh, what would you like to say? Thanks. Can I have a clue, please? Can I ask for a clue? <laughs> yes, you can. Uh. House members' terms are as half as long as a presidential term. Two years. Two years. <laughs> yes, two years. Boom! Oh, she already got it. Five for you. <laughs> well done, Amelie. Two. Oh my goodness, I already knew it. I already knew she knew it. I already knew uh, she... No. Another one's leaving me. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Lincoln. All right, question number five. Since its formation in 1789, the House is the only entity in the federal government that has always been A, 
directly elected by American voters, B, forced to play golf with the president, or C, able to sign bills into law? You look like you a, know it. directly elected by American citizens. Yes! <laughs> C, able to sign bills into laws. Unfortunately, uh, no, correct. that is incorrect. Give it up for all of yeah. woo, 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 woo. Down low, too slow. No, <laughs> can you ask help from a parent? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um. A. Uh. Directly voted by the people. That is correct. That is directly that is correct. the right answer. Nice. Coming directly from mom. Yes. What do you say? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask for a clue? Of course you can. Whoever has the most votes gets to be the representative. A, directly um, elected by American voters. A, 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 Lorelai, gonna fly with another five. Let's go! Question six. In order to be a member of the House of Representatives, a person must be a citizen of the United States for at least seven years, inhabit the state that you represent, and be at least how many years old? A, 18, B, 21, or C, 25? Do you want to buy clues? Oh, this is a hard one. It only costs two. Come on, just buy a clue. Come on, just buy a clue. You know you want to, yeah! The person must be at least a quarter century old. 25. It was 25. It's correct. That's a five for 25. Oh, oh, I got it right. Woo, woo. C, 25. I see that to be correct, so give her five. C, 25. Bingo! Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, she's like, question six, 25. It was easy. easy. Uh, next. Question seven. While the Senate is designed to be a more deliberative body, the House is designed to A, directly reflect the will of the people, B, preside over Supreme Court hearings, or C, give the State of Union address. A, directly reflect the will of the people. A, 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 you're winning money every single day because you're winning all the money. A, directly reflect the you, uh, will of the people. <laughs> Sorry. She's like mixing all the answers. The will. But it is correct. Can I have a hint? Of course you can. President James Madison once said that the House should have an immediate dependence on and an intimate sympathy with the people. A, directly reflect the will of the people? Correct, and that is the answer. She is breezing through these questions. What time is it? Uh, it's a hair pass there. Wait, no, it's time for the final, final question. question. So here is the final question worth $20. What is the title of the leader of the House of Representatives? The majority leader? Um, the majority leader. Fortunately, that is not incorrect. the correct answer. It was a good guess. It, it was, was a good, good guess. guess. The Senator of State. I'm just saying something. That's oh, unfortunately incorrect. The no. way to guess, yes. you still got to keep all the money. Yes. Give it up yes. for Lorelai. What is the title of the leader of the House of Representatives? Speaker of the House. Wow. No, she doesn't even think so. Today, we learned about the House of Representatives. This body was created under the Connecticut Compromise during the 1787 Constitutional Convention in order to balance the interests of both larger and smaller states in Congress. As a bicameral legislature, or one with two parts, Congress consists of an upper house, the Senate, which has equal representation of two senators per state, and a lower house, the House of Representatives, with representation based on each state's population. 
The House is the only entity in the federal government that has been directly elected by the American voters since its formation in 1789. House elections are held more frequently than Senate or presidential elections, with members being elected every two years, so they are closer to the people, strongly reflecting the passions and beliefs of the citizens they represent. To run for office, the Constitution requires that representatives be at least 25 years old, a U.S. citizen for at least seven years, and an inhabitant of the state they represent. One of the main powers that House representatives have is proposing and voting for laws. This affects many aspects of American life, including taxes and shaping the federal budget. Along with the Senate, the House can conduct investigations into the executive branch and other areas of society, override presidential vetoes, and declare war. But the House has the sole power to approve articles of impeachment against a federal official. All government spending bills must also originate in the House, giving it the power of the purse. The House of Representatives is led by the Speaker of the House. Fun fact! Members of the House are not required to vote on all legislation, even if they are present. Members of the House of Representatives play an important role in representing the citizens of their state, as well as proposing and voting for laws that affect the lives of many Americans. Woo! Thank you to all our contestants for participating in today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... Uh, Uncle Sam, and it has been a blast and a half filming out here in the streets of L.A. We hope to see you next time. So in the meantime, stay smart. Stay, stay street, street smart. smart. Ah! Are you going to use a clue? Uncle Sam is Aren't begging these a little for hard, it. at yeah. least? No. no. You going to pay for her lunch? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaker. Of the house. True or false, you love taking money from Uncle Sam. True. True, it's true. We know it's that true. <laughs> Blowing my goatee off, too. Hold on. Three, sister, sister power! power! Woohoo! Hey, hey, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned a lot. You know we have more, right? PragerU Kids is devoted to teaching what most schools aren't our American values, history, and blessings. Watch more at PragerUKids.com and parents, don't forget to subscribe.